definitely seen some diapering and swaddling done a little bit better than these guys. Mind you, the pressure is not really fair, right? Right. But um, this kiddo is gonna get out of that swaddle real fast. Real yeah, fast, yeah, yeah. right? Because part of the benefit of swaddling is for them to feel safe and secure, right? And their hands are gonna wiggle up so fast oh. out of that swaddle. And so you wanna yeah. tuck them in. Here he's getting that. There we go. All right, Dr. Tuck no, them hey, more hey, than, than hey, my friend. Hey, little junior, <laughs> it's not a race, buddy. We're doing this together. There we go. All this Perfect. unnecessary stress. <laughs> oh. We're good, buddy. We're good. We're good. Oh. We're good. We're oh. good. Significantly better, I guess. That's great. Yeah. Dr. Orden, my friend, Dr. Little Orden. Messy. When is when is the last time you swaddled a baby? About 40 years ago. <laughs> okay. 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 This is important. Mm -hmm. Learning, okay. right? Learning tool. What is the most important thing for me when I'm changing a diaper? Give me my best two tips when I'm changing yeah, a diaper. Yeah, I would say make sure that everything is clean. If you're having a baby girl, which I, my understanding is, what are you having? I'm having a boy. You're having a boy, yes. perfect. So congratulations. If you're having a baby girl, you wanna go front to back because you never wanna wipe that, that poop and into the front area. And I would think for a guy, a guy too. The guy as well, yeah. You're yeah. gonna be, you don't have to be quite as particular with it, but you wanna make sure to get all of the residue, all of the stool off of their booty mm -hmm. because if it stays there, baby's gonna end up with a diaper rash and they're gonna end up with irritated skin. So we wanna make sure that everything's nice and clean that you take your time getting in all those creases. That's gonna be number one. And then number two would be, I would say for all of your sake, that, um, that the looseness of the diaper is right on <laughs> because if it's too loose, you're gonna have a blow up up the back. And if it's too tight, then you may also have a blow up. So I always say check and know what you're, what you're dealing with before you, before you actually get into changing that diaper. And can I? Can I have these? You can take them with you. I have to hand it to props. They, they set that up pretty well. That was very they? well done. You both did and, excellent. And this, this is a true story. Before the segment started, I looked at Robert, who helped set this up, and I said, well, at least the one thing I know is that this baby cannot pee on me. I was wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Sarah, thanks so much for yeah, coming. thanks so much for having me, guys. Thank this you. Was so fun. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public. I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.